Jones, his greatest strength is his versatility. Welcome back, Nerd Herds. We're back for the next game. That's right. Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, yeah. Let's beat him. Terrific attitude. It makes him very tough to handle. David, thank you. And now a chance to take a look at some numbers. All right, here we go. Here we go. The most positive thing about his last 10 games, the work on defense. His mindset has become very aggressive. The steals are up, and he's become a factor. Let's do it. Defensive end. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Downs is out there with James Johnson. Then it's Malik Beasley. And it's Wanamaker in at the point guard. And for Chicago, Young and Carter are the big men inside. Levine at the two with Porter at the three. Both these teams' doors rely Damn it. tonight on the execution in their half-court game. A little bit of a throwback, sort of an old-fashioned approach tonight. Don't worry, we're going to have plenty of highlights. It is the NBA. We know there are great <laughs> players on both sides of the ball cap, but how about this ability to execute under duress of a 24-second shot clock? It's going to be really interesting to watch. Now here's Johnson. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. Good defensive work there by Young. Nice. On the wing, Levine. Just a great job. Oh. Spots where to be aggressive. Levine draws balls at a higher rate these days. Bulls shooting their yes. free throws here for the night. And they've been mediocre all season long. Just about 72%. From the All right, come on. And there we go. Nails both of them. And for good deal, good deal. Searching for stability, it doesn't help that the Wolves have had a number of head coaching changes. Well, obviously, the Wolves aren't alone in that problem, Greg. I think it can be difficult to identify just the right kind of leadership. And when you do get... I didn't leave with something. I was right here. Or Eric Spolstra or Rick Carlisle, you try to hold on for dear life. Why did I get penalized for leaving when I was right there? Easily for three... It's good. It Damn it. His first shot of the game. Oh, yeah. And Beasley's a good three-pointer, aren't it? That an opportunity from deep. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Levine against Beasley. For the three. Good. Oh, very nice. One for one. What a start. What a start. And we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. What? How did I foul him? I didn't even reach in. Oh. Come on. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Back to Wanamaker. No, I blocked him. No, that's lies. Setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag, and, and where's the help defensively? To me, Greg, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Here is Border. Yes. By Minnesota. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Buries it from three-point range. Damn it. Got five. That was mine. Redeem My bad. Just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Johnson against Young. Pass to Porter. Six to shoot. Fires the three. Oh, come on. Minnesota leading by five. To the middle. Here's Beasley, and they nope. call the foul. So he's oh, uh, what personal foul? Here to make it a three-point play. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Sur yeah, they took me out early, didn't they? Come on, put me back in. I'm sorry.
All right, let's see what we got here. Bulls trail by five. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, we've got Cody Zeller, and it's a Kogi in at the two spot. White yes, five. there we go. Very nice. White's got the second quarter going with the All first right, come basket on. of the period for Chicago. Pass to Culver. Now here's Zeller. Here's a Kogi. No points in the game yet for him. Floats one up, and it's good. Oh, on the oh come on. Lead by five. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. Pass to Gafford. Kicks to Markinen. Get out of there. Nice. And I get the assist. Minnesota leading by three. Inside. Stripped it away. Go, 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 go. Go, baby, go. Oh, that was beautiful. I could kiss you right now. What a shot. Minnesota's gone three or five from beyond the arc so far tonight. A chance here to get a quick injury. Report. Back. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. He said he took a big hit on that play and that he may have bruised his sternum. It's unfortunate timing all around for them. Of course, they will need to band together while he's out. We'll see how they respond. Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. Hopefully everything works out for him. It's up a three. Oh, come on. The pass to White. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Just five to shoot. And the oh, there it is. There it is. And he gives up I was wondering where it was. Play, but the I found it. I found it. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough. I was right there. The Damn it. Nicely done. Shooting off the catch is about confidence. There, Culver demonstrating how it's done. Yet another player from the 2019 draft class who wasn't a top high school recruit. Jared Culver, three-star guy, thin, unrefined. But go, go, go. More year college. Boy, did he surprise some folks. Hits the nice. Five. Eight points for Otto Porter Jr. All right, come on. A lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Pass to a Kogi. Seller with it. Pass to a Kogi. Three-pointer on the way. Rebounded by Gafford. Nice. And Greg, when you talk about Cole, the one thing he did show in high school and again showed at Texas Tech. The nice. Oh, come on. Yeah, yes. And the foul, baby. Shots against great defenders. Nice job. Every team in the NBA is looking for that. His jumper, his handle, his ability to move. Very nice. Already NBA level stuff. For Chicago, come on, come on. Just a few free throws up to this point, shooting four of seven from the foul line tonight. Chandler Hutchison, he's checked in for Chicago. And marketing is a perfect candidate for that stretch four. Outstanding at pulling the trigger from deep and not afraid. That was a good foul. Okay. I was wondering. The other bigs. Or sometimes what was once considered a negative becomes a positive. Come on, for come on, come on. Tweeners are now looked at as very valuable assets and very versatile assets. Yeah, Kev, no doubt. That, like, think about how much the game has changed for players like Draymond Green. Oh, yeah, I can, I can move it, can't I? I forgot. I don't think this does anything, though, does it? <clears throat> ...at one point coming out of college for the power forward and center spot, too small to play the position. But as the NBA has downsized, as it's gotten smaller and faster, Draymond Green can be as yes. as any other player. Yes! I drew the foul, life. baby. Yeah, the defender all over him. The oh, yeah, there we go. All right, come on. Oh! Last game for the Bulls, it was a loss to the Bucks in Milwaukee. Come on, come on. Stolen by Markinen. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Misses the baby. Oh, come on. Struggling as he has. You love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Yeah, he kind of pushed him there. I saw that. From Culver. Terrific at realizing when the defense has broken down. Markinen kicks to Porter. 
Shot by post. Shock up yes, the there we go. Yes. Size. He's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid range, but sometimes you can. Timeout. Ah! So the Timberwolves called their nice. first timeout. And for a player that didn't come in with a lot of fanfare to the NBA, Markinen is one of the top young players in the league. Yeah, call him the marksman <coughs> or the finisher. Call him Larry Bird if you like. Fantastic stretch four. All right, come on. Showed he could be a focal point of an offense. Can play with an edge as well. No, and is stop blocking me. The surface of his potential. Minnesota making a switch here. Want to make no? And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Damn it. A defensive breakdown on my part because I didn't keep stay with my guy and block him. This is his attempt of the game. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. It's blocked. And great positioning there from Paul. That's what allowed him to get the block. All right, come on. On the inbound. Yes, the ball, baby. Boy, that's a bang <laughs> on the inbound pass. I like those quick hitters. Here's a Kogi. White covering. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. Nice. And he'll go to the line for two. It's on nice. The and Doris last season, rookie Jason ended up contributing more than the franchise thought he would. Yeah, he was terrific as a three and deep Damn it. for the Wolves. This guy could end up being the steal of the draft, sort of in that Robert Covington mold. Dishes it to Markinen. A rebound by the Timberwolves. This is their first chance to take a look at the Bulls this season. And one of the few bright spots of their last season was sweeping the season series in this matchup. Spellman, no good. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. There you go. There you go, baby. The basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. That was beautiful. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Towns has checked in. The Bulls have taken ten shots from the free throw line up to this point and made six of them. All right, come on. Timberwolves trail by seven. Towns is double, knocked away. Outside, White, Porter in the corner. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. The high post shot. Oh, come on. Spellman's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Culver passes to a Kogi. Come on. Here's Towns. To the wing right side. And Josh Kogi. Damn it. Three. A Kogi's got his third basket of the night. <sighs> well, Towns showing himself to be a willing facilitator. If you're open, he's going to find you. Can't hit from in close. Let's give some. Why couldn't I hit from in close? They're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. A Kogi, the pass to Spellman. That's a no go, and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots. To the inside. Uses the glass. There we go. There we go. Points in the game. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting Come on. to take over. Passes it to Culver. And that's his Oh fourth. damn it, no! Uh, and we're not even at halftime. That is going to limit his playing time and his aggressiveness the rest of the game. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for the Bulls. Dean comes in for White. James Johnson checked in for the Timberwolves. How about the force there from Culver, making sure to finish with power, leaving no doubt with that finish. Here's Carter, and a good nice job. And he gets the bucket, and the Bulls lead by six. 
Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not oh, take damn care it. of the defensive glass. Now, here's Culver. He's guarded closely, and it's good two points. Defensive breakdown. Why, because I kept jumping up in the air? He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Quick shot damn it. Stolen by yes, Levine. there we go. Good job, Levine. I didn't make it, but at least you got it back and made it. Oh, come on. Wanamaker's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's a Kogi, and the layup is good. A Kogi's got a lot of points. And boy, has he come alive. Since the start of the second quarter, he has been on fire. Carter against Towns. Carter down low, and no good. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it. That was a good foul. Okay. Much the same. And Doris, you played That's my third foul, right? Like that means I got one more. Right? Well, I'm going to go back <laughs> to the Showtime Lakers, which was my first. Yeah, they sent me down. They're like, no more fouls, asshole. <laughs> Get out of there. You just keep trying to cause too many things. Stop it. All right, what are we, what are we at? We're, we're down, we're up by three. Okay. Come on, don't let him get a three-pointer. Here's Wanamaker. Don't let him get a three-pointer. Over Levine, and he was able to put it up in time, but nice. doesn't fall. Nice. Okay, hold on. Let me try the options real quick on the. Uh, no, that's not the settings. Yeah. Uh, it's the music, like the okay commentary. Whoops. Okay, so let's turn the commentary down just a little bit. PA, we need to turn way down. Sound effects will turn down. Crowd will turn down a little bit. Player chatter. Okay, let's see if that helps. <sighs> Thanks so much, David. We'll step away briefly, but get you right. Yeah, thanks, David. You're awesome, David. All right. I am sucking again today. 13 points. I mean, that's not bad for halftime. I, I average around 20 points per game. Che, one sec. What up, Ghost? Nice work on D. The guys are really feeding off of you. Thanks, Ghost. I'm trying. <clears throat> I see that. Keep it up. Yes, sir. I will do. I will. I'll do it. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separate. All right. How long are they going to be before they put me in? I know they're waiting. <clears throat> I know they're waiting. They have to be careful because of my uh, fouls. <laughs> I might have three already. Is it? I can't remember. Is it four or five that you get? Out of the game. There we go. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Cody Zeller's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Omari Spellman comes in for James Johnson. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Josh Akogi. And Culver's subbed in for Beasley. Outside Levine. And there's the pass to Gaffer. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Damn it. Timberwolves trail by nine. They've got Markin in. And it's Hutchinson in at the small four. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Spellman's got his sixth rebound on the night. To the middle. Here's Zeller. And the dunk by Zeller. Damn it. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, yeah, that was just a little bit. Slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. 
Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. And the Bulls with another miss. He is just not taking smart shots out there, a pattern he has fallen into tonight. Here's Wanamaker. Nice. The game so far. Can't My intimidator kicked in and knocked it out of the goal. Here's Hutchison. There we go. There we go. Yep. Didn't even need to go down there. Nice job, Hutchison. Puts it on the money there. Here's Wanamaker. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Stolen by Markinen. Levine with it. Culver covering. Nice. There it is, baby. makes the hardest moves look easy. Timberwolves trail by nine. Now, here's Culver. 11 points in the game. Come on, come on. Like it's six. And that'll be two officials on the call with the foul. And what makes Culver difficult to defend, it starts with the footwork and then the change of pace. And you give him that ability to just rise up and shoot over you. Chicago making a switch here. There it is. Also making a change. A Kogi's nice. in for Juan Hernan Gomez. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. What? Has to take that long what? Back to the bench here. He, he'll watch the rest of this one. Oh, no, I fouled out already. Damn. My first game fouled out. I've never fouled out before. That's That's pretty sad, really. All right, let's see how close we get. I fouled out at 13 points, too. I'm a bad boy. What now? Well, all we got to do is watch the time and hope we win. That's all we can do at this point. I can't believe that. I've never... Oh. Fouled out, haven't fouled out. Fouled out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. I do not say blah, 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 but I do. I actually said it. Uh, it looks like we're going to win this one. I mean, we got two minutes left. Anything can happen, but we're, we're doing pretty well. Look at Levine. 27 points. 30 points. Holy cow. All right, here we go. down the first one <clears throat> make no mistake carl anthony towns has all the skills necessary to be amongst the best players in the league what a problem he poses for defenses guys all right just hold on to the ball it's ours dan dan down outside and so chicago nice. takes this one and by a big margin some nice with the hometown advantage and that was awesome. That was good. I sucked, but that was good. <laughs> Is that my face? Oh, that's scary looking. That's scary looking. Got some incentives from Beats. All right. I totally think we've got a little overboard with some of these trade demands. Man, oh, what? what? Throw out the life ring. I get these guys are people and they have a family and feelings and all of that. I get it. But a contract is a contract. Mm -hmm. You don't like the contract you signed and you want to move on? Tough. Wait till your contract's over. That's how it works in the real world. Who am I waving at? Where there are real consequences. But these guys are in some sort of magical fairyland where everything's rainbows and roses. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it, right? There's no more, uh, no contract negotiating. Oh, secured your place in the starting lineup. We'd like to give you the opportunity to provide input on what jerseys we wear. You're an equal member of the starting unit, and we want you to feel that way. We also want to remind you that we appreciate, uh, that we're appreciative of what you bring to the organization, both on and off the court. Plus, if you look good, you feel good. And if you feel good, you play good. Simple, right? Yeah, thanks for everything. Bulls management. Noise. What do, I, what do I push? Do I push anything?
It's not doing anything. Am I supposed to be pushing something? Okay, I'd like to see the jerseys now. Oh, there we go. Okay. So if I go to... I, I can go to like... what? Oh, no. I, I don't know where, that, where it's at. All right. Well, uh, I think that's going to be it, though, for this episode. I um, get five dunks. I can't even dunk, man. I don't think anyway. <laughs> uh, my stats. Oh, that... No, don't look at that. <laughs> Nine points per game on average. Oh, wow. That's... Ouch. Icy cold. Average teammate grade C+. Plus. My career, it's going to be the same, isn't it? Uh, 400 and seven. Oh my goodness. Awards. I haven't gotten anything. Player of the month. Player of the week. Defensive player of the year. All, no, I haven't gotten nothing. No awards whatsoever. I'm not that good, man. All right. Well, I think that's it, though. I'm out of here. As always, love you all. Game on and geek out.